Hello friends, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Rand's Graphics. Today, I will be teaching you how to create a growing graph text title animation inside After Effects. You can download the project file on the link in the description below. Okay, let's check what we are going to be creating today. First, I'm gonna go to composition and create a new composition and we'll name it text alpha. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second and ten seconds duration. Click OK and I will grab the text tool and I will type rah. I'm using Eurofighter expanded two hundred fifty pixels size. I will center it horizontally and vertically. I will go to composition, create a new composition, and I will name it Bevel Alpha. The same configuration 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, and 10 seconds duration. Click OK. And then I will go to my project panel and drag down this text alpha to my timeline. Right away, go to layer, layer styles, and inner glow. Expand inner glow, change the color to black the blending mode to normal technique is precise and the size is 15 because our background is transparent like that we want to make it solid all that we have to do is to go to layer add a new adjustment layer and then go to effects and preset go to channel and add solid composite change this to black so now when we again enable the transparency there's no transparency anymore so we'll disable this one and add blur fast box blur just to avoid anti-aliasing i will make this blur radius to one and the iterations one and i will check this repeat edge pixels then I will go to composition, create a new composition, and I will name it text manipulation. Click OK. I will go to my project panel and drag down the bevel alpha on my timeline and the text alpha. Right away, I will open the assets, open the image folder, drag down on my timeline the rock texture. I will right away pre compose it and move all the attributes and i will click ok i will go to effects and preset go to stylize cc glass i will open the surface change the bump map to bevel alpha change the softness to zero and the displacement to zero to take this background off all we have to do is to go to effects and preset go to channel set matte Change the mat from rock texture to your text alpha. Now you can see it's already perfectly cut. So all we have to do is to go back to CC glass, open the light, change the effects light to AE light. Create our own light. Go to layer new light. I want a parallel light and the color is white. And then density is 100%. Click OK. And I will press P. Move it back a bit and move it also up on the right side i think that's good enough and then i will go to layer again you create new light use the ambient light 50 percent intensity 
click ok and i will go again to layer create a new light and i will change it to point light 100 percent intensity and i will change the color to probably bluish and i will click ok you can choose whatever color you want so i will just move this on the left side probably here and up and then press p for the position and move this backwards a bit and also the parallel light i will move it backward so i think this is okay disable these two layers because the text here is so smooth we want this text to be a little bit of rough on the surface so all we have to do is to lock this composition and highlight this bevel alpha double click it and move it on the other side and go to layer create a new solid and i will name it rock roughen and i will click ok i will move this just above the adjustment layer and go to effects and preset noise and grain fractal noise i will change this fractal type to max i will change the blending mode here to multiply i will change the brightness to about 60 just to create a bit of a rough on the surface and then i will again create another solid and i will name it rock dense and i will go to effects and preset go again to noise and grain and fractal noise i will change the brightness to about 60 the contrast probably 250 and then the complexity 12 i will go to the rock dense layer change the blending mode from normal to multiply so as you can see in here there's already a dense on the surface so what i have to do is to delete this one and go to the text manipulation and check this one out if we're good to go maybe i will go back to bevel alpha and press t on my keyboard for the opacity change the opacity to 70 percent and i will go to composition and i will create a new composition and i will name it main and i will click ok and i will go back to my project panel and drag down this text manipulation i will open the text manipulation and i will disable these two layers and i will go back to the main and i will drag down this text texture as my background i will pre-compose it and i will name it bg move all the attributes and i will click ok go to effects and preset color correction curves move this down make it darker and then we will open again the main we will create a shadow at the back of our text and a shadow on the bottom of the text so what we will do here is to open the text manipulation and duplicate the text alpha go to edit and duplicate it and first go to effects and preset color correction add a tint make this map white to black and go back to effects and preset cc radial blur and enable this text layer move it just above the bevel alpha and change this radial blur type to fading zoom enable the transparency let's see we'll just zoom it up move this point in here and increase the amount Hopefully that's good enough so i will just rename it text alpha shadow duplicate it to create a dimension on it change the amount to 12 i will also duplicate this rock texture go to edit and duplicate it and i will drag it down below the first rock texture and go to effects and preset and add cc radial blur i will change the type to fading zoom and the amount negative 8 I will go to effects and preset and add color correction curves. I will change the RGB mode to alpha, crank it high. 
and then change the alpha to red I will crank it up a bit and I will change the red to RGB and make it darker a bit I think that's good enough and I will open the main so this is now what we made so now we will create a new composition and I will name it cracks click ok go to layer create a new solid and I will name it crack and I will click ok go to effects and preset generate and cell pattern I will change the cell pattern to crystal high quality and I will change the contrast to 1500 again I will go to effects and preset and add turbulence displays go to disturb and turbulence displays I will change the size to about 3 and the complexity is 6 go back to my project panel and drop down in my timeline the text alpha I will also open bevel alpha drop down the cracks on my timeline make the blending mode multiply and open the main drag it down the cracks layer to my timeline and also make the blending mode multiply in order to get rid of the cracks on the background all you have to do is to go to effects and preset and go to channel and set matte and then change the matte from cracks to text manipulation and there we go it's gone open the cracks go to effects and preset transition and use radial wipe create a keyframe and move the player forward to about the end of your timeline and make it the transition completion 100% we will play this one and take a look what happens there you go so now we already have a crack animated all we have to do is to go back to our project panel and drop down these drawing cracks put it just above the BG and also the footage here just drop it down just above the drawing and change the blending mode here to add if you want to move it just press on your keyboard p or the position and drag it down a bit and if you want to you can also hit t on your keyboard for the opacity and change the opacity to about maybe 70 percent and again we will play it nice so guys we are done with our tutorial for now i hope that you learned something on it for those people who subscribe my channel thank you very much i appreciate it really and for those people who are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you will be notified for any videos that i'm gonna be uploading in the future and thank you very much for watching my videos my thoughts for the day is that guys you can improve this project by being creative thank you guys for watching and see you next time god bless